and we're going to make some weather reports. Now the first thing that you're going to need to do is we're going to come up to the top and we're going to use the folder that has the star inside of it and the green upload button. Um, and from there you will find your drive icon. Now if you have a folder like the weather folder that has been added to your drive, not just shared with you, you will find it in here. If you do not find it in there, you need to go to that folder and make sure it is added to your Google Drive. And if you need help with that, I have a video. Uh, see my ad, how to add a folder to your Google Drive video. Anyway, once you select the weather report, it's gonna take a few moments for it to come in. So while it's uploading, we'll get started and we'll make a little intro. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, I'm thinking maybe like a three or four second introduction. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna type in weather. And I'm gonna use this thunderstorm right here. And I'm gonna go ahead, I'll drop the thunderstorm down as my background. And you can see that's about five seconds long. I just wanna go through that first bolt of lightning. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take like maybe half of this and we're just gonna clip it here. All right, excellent. Now, the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna use the letter A and we're gonna add a title in here. And we're gonna find one that looks good for uh, weather. I'm just going to use this in with a whisper. It's going to be called PMTV weather and we'll put the date 920-19. Perfect. And you can see that title will show up just there. Now my title is a little bit longer in my project so I'm just going to go try and expand it just to make it match. Now down here you'll see you have this blue slider. This will just expand your view so you can be a little bit more precise with your edits. The other thing that I want to do when this starts is I'd like with that, with that lightning, I'd like a, a sound effect. So I'm going to go here uh, to the music, and I'll use the sound effects. And under nature, oh, look at this, thunder and lightning. Excellent. So what I'm going to do, I will drag the thunder and lightning down. And I'm going to crop it because I don't need all this thunder and lightning. And what we're going to do is at the end, we're going to start fading that out. Perfect. So now... I should have uh, some thunder and lightning sounding in the background with my project. All right, now I can go back to this folder with the star and you'll see that I have um, my video clip in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'll drag this down. I'm gonna put this clip on the video two track. And the reason why is because it's a green screen. So we want this image on top of whatever the background is. So when we go now back to the star and you type in weather, we have a few options. If you scroll down far enough, um, you see everything that has a time on it is a video clip. And if you go farther, everything that does not have a time is actually just a still image. Now, still images can be expanded so they can fit your entire project. So it's really easy if I wanted this as the background to go ahead and drag it all the way to the end of my project. Now, you can see I'm getting a little lost. So I'll use this blue slider. I'll make everything a little bit smaller again. And I can expand it up. Perfect, but we don't see the background. So what we have to do is we have to double click on the green screen clip and across the top, you'll see this little guy up here. It's called color keying. And if you use the color keying eyedropper and touch the background color that you want gone, voila, it will be gone. Now you also have some options to uh, color balance, the color sensitivity, you can defringe. Um, and just play around with these sliders to see if you can get that green screen to look a little bit sharper. The other thing that you can do is if you come back to this transform option, is you can scale your green screen clip. So you can make your speaker smaller or larger, depending on what you'd like to do, and move them into the right spot. Now, what's great about this and this still image background is as I play, that image background will stay. Now I can double click on that image background and I can use this animation option. So at the start of my project, I can set this background image uh, where I want it. And then I can even move it at the end. So maybe what I want to do is I want this background image to zoom in on what the weather is going to be like. Because it's sunny, we're going to have it finish with the sun. So now when we save changes, you'll see that that background slowly starts moving. Um, because of the way we've animated it. Now there's another option you have too. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to remove this for just a second. Actually, I'm just going to slide it over here to store it because I like that background. But if you wanted to use a video clip, so let's say I wanted this time lapse of the vibrant blue sky and I drag it in, you'll notice that my project uh, has these great clouds in the background, 
but this pro uh, this clip is not long enough and so at the end you'll see it just stops and I can't expand it because it's a video clip so if you'd like to expand the video clip you can double click on them and what you can do is you can use the little timer here and slow down the speed all the way down and you'll see that will expand if the original length was only nine seconds and now the new length is over a minute which is even longer than what I need so I need about a minute so I'll just go down to there and you'll see now I have the clouds moving um, and they just move a little bit slower throughout the background however I'm gonna go back I prefer my weatherman my weather images now there's a couple other things that we need to do at some point in the broadcast that little icon on the side is going to pop up with actually the forecast so we need to go back to our folder in our google drive and we're going to use that upload button again and select drive and we're going to find that pmtv weather folder and in here we have a graphics folder and there's a test folder and inside you will see the screenshot that we need to use for the image so here's what we're going to do is we're going to hit the plus sign. We're going to add one more video track on here because what we need to do is we need to put this image on top of everything else so it shows up in the right spot. So if I drag it to about where I want it, now you'll see it covers my entire project. That is not good. But if I double click on it, I have the option to rescale it, make it a little bit smaller, or I could use these little dots and I can slide it and I can put the screenshot just in the right spot. So this is gonna go on the top right of my project. I'll make it a little bit bigger and you can see the weather pop in here. And we'll go ahead and save those changes. And I can expand this and make it a little bit bigger if I'd like. And so now, as you start watching the weather, when we start talking about the weekend forecast, you'll see that the uh, screenshot will pop right in. Now you can play around with it to make sure it's in the right spot. And then there's a couple other things that we're going to do before we're done. First, we've already used the titles to introduce our weather report, but we're going to use this option right here. This is the transitions, and these are the dissolves and fades, how you go from one clip to another. So I'm just going to use these fades, and you can drag them right in between the clips that you have. Um, I'm also going to drag it, you see, right on both sides of the screenshot. So now when that screenshot comes in, that screenshot will just kind of slowly fade right into the top. And then it'll slowly fade right out. Now, a couple other pieces to this that we should talk about. If you were going to put some audio behind it, you'll see I already have this sound effect in here. So if I wanted a music track, it's a little bit hard because I can't add... Uh, music in the very beginning. So I'm going to use the plus sign and I will add one more audio track on here. And it's going to drop right below and you'll see audio number two. Now I can go over to the music option and under the music we have a lot of instrumental tracks. Um, I'm just going to use one of these but here's the really important part is we need to hear our anchors. So those music tracks, the volume of the entire track should go down to like, I don't know, somewhere probably between 10 and 15 percent. So it doesn't overpower um, our speaker or any of the other important information. Excellent. Now you notice that my music goes way too long. So at the very end right here, I'm just going to cut it and I'll delete the end. Um, and what you can actually do with that is you can have it just kind of fade out slowly into, um, into, the, end of the, into the end of the project. Anyway, that's the nuts and bolts to get started with your video projects. If you'd like to get a little bit more creative, you can always start adding more content and searching for more things. But I think this will get you a good place to start. So good luck, everybody.